Hainan is a tropical island and China's southernmost province. And last year, it began the upgrade from being the country's largest special economic zone to a pilot free trade zone. So, just what is it about Hainan that makes it so popular with tourists? And how will the free trade zone help the province stimulate its economy and open up to the world? This is Xinhua Special. I'm Roisin Tibbins. The youngest province in China, its tropical climate, stunning beaches, lush rainforests have all drawn holidaymakers for years, as well as being the set for Chinese blockbusters and a getaway for celebrities. And one of the most popular places is Sanyang, which is developing fast. Now we really had made change, upgrading the facility, make the sense in order. Beach become more clean, environment become more friendly, and people become more friendly. So that, I think, is the change after we have such pretty policy. With views like this, it's easy to see how tourism is a big boost to the economy. In 2018, Hainan received 76 million visitors. Generating 95 billion yuan in revenue, in part due to a duty-free allowance of 30,000 yuan per year. As of 2018, visitors from 59 countries can visit visa-free, which is not just a convenience for conventional tourists, it also smooths the way for overseas politicians, executives and academics to take part in a variety of international conferences like the Boal Forum for Asia. For more than a decade, Boal has been famous for its annual Asian Forum. But in recent years, people have found a new reason to come, less than 10 kilometers from the conference center. Medical tourism may seem niche, but it's something that Hainan has been doing to world-class standards for years. Some of China's best doctors can be found here, and their specialties cover modern and traditional Chinese medicine. And the province has its eyes on being a world-class trade hub too. The Pilot Free Trade Zone, the 12th in the country, was established last year as the country marked 40 years of reform and opening up. It seems Hainan is uniquely placed in the next step towards a more open China. Here we feel uh, huge support from the Mm, accelerator uh, from uh, the local government and also you see it's just a paradise island. As an island and a free trade zone, Hainan is an important part of the maritime Silk Road. China is coming to a new stage. We already the largest trading nation, second largest economy. We have to go for the for opening up for the reform because it's so geographically located, it's isolated from the mainland. And second is because it's already in the front opening up. Here could be a testing place for further opening up and reform. And the province is well on its way to becoming a free trade port. By 2018, Hainan had nine international container liner shipping routes. International trade volume increased by 20.8%, over 10% higher than the national average. The province has also attracted investors from 27 Fortune 500 companies and leading accounting firms. Of course, infrastructure is vital to development and even that's getting an upgrade. In the wake of successes in Beijing, Shanghai and California, this company is now in Hainan piloting trials for self-driving cars. But before the future hits the road, tourists and traders can take advantage of the high-speed rail and highway networks crisscrossing and encircling the island. But despite this flurry of activity, the province is putting ecological protection at the forefront of its future development. National park reserves cover more than a seventh of the island, providing shelter for a variety of species. Environmental protection and ecotourism also provide locals with an income and a better quality of life. As an island, it would be easy for Hainan to shut itself off from the world. But the province has shown that letting the world in means a better life for the people of Hainan and a very enjoyable experience for its visitors. See you next time.